All right. Hello. Welcome to the ad. Oh well, no. welcome to the prehocracy show. That's yeah. We're doing the prehocracy <laughs> show, the show before the show that you watch after the show. And by the show, we mean the ad hocracy show, your weekly place for advertising, marketing, art, and design. How exciting! Isn't it just that? Oh yeah. And we got a good one for you today. We do. A little, We're... a little uh, how to help your business, help your. Help your uh, creativity get going. Should be a uh, should be a good yeah. Episode. We're going to talk about logos. We're also going to uh, introduce the new poster contest. Ding. If you look behind David, there's a poster there. Um, we're going to introduce a little contest with that little bad boy. You're going to want to get into that. It's going to be fun. It's going to be like fine, playing Where's Waldo. Yes, a, a global Where's Waldo game. Yeah. How exciting <laughs> is that? <sighs> And we're going to in, uh, announce something that's going to be really exciting for you, our viewers. Yeah. We're, now, the reason we do this pre-occracy show is be, so we can really get going. As you know, it's like, you know, we're, we're not necessarily in our element quite yet. So <laughs> we screw up. We do things we wrong. We say, welcome to the ad hocracy show instead of the pre show. Uh, so this is why we do this. Get us in the, in the mode. Get us, you know, our tongues loose. Do tongue twisters. We haven't done a tongue twister yet. We do that sometime. We should. Anyway, um, so, but our, our journey will continue now with our, I, someday I'm going to figure out how many questions there actually are, but 30-something love questions. 36 love questions that are scientifically proven to have you fall in love with someone. So in this case, you with us. So we're going to hop right into those. Number 28. Are you okay. ready for this? All right. Tell your partner what you like about them. I think we did that. Uh, be very honest this time. Oh! <laughs> Last time you were lying. <laughs> I thought I was lying. All those, I am all not those that things, great. All those things I said about you, no, I was lying about that. Let me tell you what I really like about you. Uh, this time saying things that you might not say to someone you've just met. Well, I wouldn't have said a lot of those things that somebody I just met before. <laughs> um, uh, we may just... You can go back and review... The episode, uh, how many times? It was like three, three ago. It was like three, yeah, uh, three, it was like two three. or three ago. Yeah. So you can go back and review that if you want to find out what we like about each other, because that was a great episode. That was. We, we were being rather honest. <laughs> yep. So well, we'll move on to twenty nine now. If if that's not the case, let's share with our partner an embarrassing moment <gasps> in our lives. David Landing, what is an embarrassing moment? I, in your life, I don't know. I block out embarrassing moments. I, I, I hate this question. Like anything to do with get to know you. Like, what's your most embarrassing moment? I, I block it out. I have no idea what my embarrassing moment is. What? Oh, okay. I've got a lot of. A this lot is of one time I was on. School. I was doing this YouTube channel and I couldn't answer a question. It was so embarrassing. how embarrassing. I know. Oh jeez. In elementary school, somebody caught me picking my nose and then told all the girls about it. That's embarrassing. It was. Um, These episodes seem to go with picking noses a lot. There's a lot of nose picking things. Apparently, we were pretty pretty passionate about our noses. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I have different glasses because I left my other ones in Ogden last week after I ran a marathon. So I'll get them back tomorrow. See, he Monday. he runs a marathon and just casual like it's not like a big thing. Yeah, I ran a marathon. It was just kind of it's what happens. I talked about that the humility of David Lane. <laughs> something I like about you. Um, so that's, yeah, if you were wondering. Here's 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 one. Okay, let's, let's hear your embarrassing. I can think of like two. I can talk about other people's embarrassing moments. I, <laughs> you remember other great. people's oh, yeah. embarrassing moments. I think they're hilarious, but I have none of my own. Um, you did actually talk about an embarrassing moment once. You were talking about the uh, the girl's swimsuit and your and your mom. Oh, was so, oh yeah, but that, that was, I just felt like ashamed of myself. <laughs> I was embarrassed. Yeah, anyway, that, that's true. So one of mine, um, it was like, it was like fifth or sixth grade. And um, it was like the very end of the of the, the year we were like done. The teacher um, put someone in charge and the class had to be quiet for some reason. Like we had to like, either we're being bad or I, I don't remember exactly. But they were like, basically, if anyone makes a peep, they'll be in trouble you watch them. Maybe it was a social experiment. Maybe they're watching from outside. <laughs> anyway, so we're sitting there and we're all being very quiet, you know, just kind of sitting around and and out of nowhere, 
a burp comes out of me. I, I like have this burp that just protrudes, just burp. And the person who was in charge was super close to me or right next to me or something like that. And they said that they were going to tell and I was worried that I wouldn't move on to the next grade and that like I had screwed the entire year and just I was so embarrassed about myself because it was like not even something I had done that like that oh, was pretty embarrassing. Yeah. That would I, I can definitely see that. I'm trying to think like does, I know I've had an, I, I know, I know I've had embarrassing moments. I know I've been embarrassed. Don't to bring out another it. one that Yeah, like, talk about another one because they'll okay, see. Okay, so thing. Uh, around the same years, fifth or sixth grade, um, they at one point were trying to teach us about like commerce and money and goods and services. And so, um, you know, they had fake money that, you know, ones, tens, fives, twenties, things like that. And um, I became a little bit of a mogul. Like I sort of was like in like loving it. And so I actually created a cardboard box that was a cash register that I could carry with me that like I'd pull it open and pull out the right change. And um, I remember um, with my mom making stress balls, which you just take a balloon yeah, and put flour in it, pack and... flour in it, and then you pack that in another balloon. Oh, that's just, what I did wrong. Yeah. So that it doesn't pop. Or yeah. if it does pop, yeah, there's kind of a safety mechanism to it. I, I sold tons of them. People were in love with this. Um, I remember, I don't remember how I was in like a partnership or something with someone, but like I, I had felt wronged in some way. And so like we had this like sort of fight argument. (laughs) There was a falling out. There was a falling out between the partnership (laughs) and, and I like got the money and like I, I, I got what I felt I deserved, but I felt so embarrassed for myself. Like after, after the fact, I felt so embarrassed that I like fought for something so worthless because at the end of it, it was just like, this is all fake money. It doesn't really buy anything. It's not. So maybe that was one of the things that I learned of like, you know, yeah, money is in everything. Relationships are especially fake money. (laughs) Fake money is not everything. If you're in fifth or sixth grade and they have a currency, it's not everything. Does that bring up anything? No. Nothing? I, blo- I, I seriously block out embarrassing Everything moments. is just a black hole for you right now. No, I, I just don't. I know I've been, I know I've had embarrassed, I've like messed up, I've done stuff. I just don't, I have no idea what the details are. I have no idea like the situation. I just know I was embarrassed. My face <laughs> got really hot and red. <laughs> and you blacked out. And then, yeah, everything else is black. No, I, I have no idea. That's funny. I know. You can't remember anything embarrassing except for the shame, sw- swim shoot, swimsuit shame episode. Yep, 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 yep. Not, yeah. That was the Mother's Day one. You can go back and watch that. A lot of this, we seem to have covered a lot because we just keep we saying, have. go back and watch that episode. Go back, go back and watch this. Yeah. Go back and watch that. Yeah. This covers everything else. Yeah. All right. Um, well, that was pretty, pretty short and sweet. Yeah. It's kind of embarrassing that you can't come up with anything embarrassing. I know. <laughs> but that's, I do this every time. Every time there's like a get to know you thing. And like, what's your most embarrassing moment? Like, oh, I really don't know. I, I don't have an embarrassing moment. I'm sure I, I, I'm sure I have like even more embarrassing moments than those. Those are, pre- those are pretty. Well, and a lot of times, like in the oh, moment. Here's, I'm in... a, here's another one. Okay. All Maybe right. Maybe this will help. Because I know you've, you've brought up something like this before. But when I was a little kid. Um, my, my best friend and I went to the store with his mom. Mm-hmm. Um, we got into some candy, you know how they used to have like the oh, bins. The, the and, bins, yeah. And I think we had, I think we both took a Hershey's kiss. Yeah. We, we stole a Hershey's kiss and ate it and apparently didn't get rid of the evidence because we're like going along and we've got this Hershey's kiss and his mom's like, where did you get a Hershey's kiss? And she being a great teacher, um, kind of was mad at us, marched us back into the manager of the store, which when you are a little kid and this is the manager, this is the person who runs the store, um, she had us apologize and pay for that. And it was, oh my gosh. How old are you? We had to be super young. Yeah. Six, seven, eight, maybe. Wow. Probably around that age because I, I, I can remember it. 
um, which my super young childhood, I don't remember too much, but yeah, but I learned a, an amazing lesson and I really dislike people who steal. Well, I think I've been embarrassed a lot now that I think of it because I had this inherent fear of trying new things because I don't want to be embarrassed. Like I got, Going, I mean, public speaking, yeah, no problem because I've done it before. But like, you know, going to a party or going to going somewhere new where I'm going to be in a new situation. Like I, I like intensively, I, I research the heck out of everything about like where, what time is it going to be? Like where's, what's going to happen? What's this? I mean, oh, I'm like terrified of like, you know, going in the wrong entrance or, or like, <laughs> like going through like a toll booth and like not having enough money and be like, uh, I I don't have anything like okay there's there's nothing I can do about this the cars behind uh, like I don't know if it's ever happened maybe it has maybe that's one of like those black holes and that I I feel like we're we're like you're an onion and we're starting to Stop, peel away yeah. all these we're getting to the like juicy so, or meat. or maybe like something very early happened and that's why I don't have any embarrassing moments is because because you have researched so because I thoroughly researched that, thoroughly that everything. the embarrassment that you have had has been so minimal mm-hmm. because you were so prepared for yeah, yeah. I think that was it. This is my favorite thing about you right now. I know. I, I, I seriously researched. Like, going first day of work, first day of school, like, I, I mean, just try and figure out everything I can. I'd go and just try and get... I, I Oh, I absolutely have been in the wrong classroom before and been like, oh, no. <laughs> I'm going to uh, go back to question 28 real quick and say what I like about you is your fear of embarrassment. <laughs> And how you research that. I research a lot. I like that. That was like one reason why it took so long to, re- to start this channel is because I was researching everything I could to make sure I didn't do anything wrong. You did. You researched <laughs> the lights. You researched, like, we did a lot of research on this. What if somebody, like, you know, maybe, like didn't like us and I'd be so embarrassed? <laughs> That's, this is Oh, hilarious. Kevin's going to comment now. <laughs> uh, All right. Well, let's get into the episode. Let's do. So we're changing the opening a little. <laughs> little bit. You'll mention that here in the preocracy, but not in the show. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I should pull up the episode. You probably should. That'd probably help out a little. Uh, or you can just look over my computer and squint, like the whole episode, just be like squinting across the room. Maybe that's what I'll do. And you're not. Not your glasses. In your glasses. Apparently don't make that big of a difference, because when I went to the eye doctor, um, he was like... Why are you here? <laughs> like, oh, I haven't been to the gla- you know, eye doctor for a really long time, and it's like, oh, well, okay, you're it changed a tiny bit. Okay. All right. All right. Are we ready? Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> Sorry, that's my research. You don't want to be embarrassed about it. Yeah. Welcome to the Adhocracy Show. On today's show... A search and find poster contest. Ooh. Designing a logo. And a sweet announcement for you, our viewers. We'll be back. Hey, JV, I have a question. David, you have a question. What is that question? How do you design a logo? I'm glad you asked. Um, 